A good designer makes things appealing to the eye. A great designer understands how the brain works. Let's learn how a little design psychology goes a long way. What happens when someone sees your design? How does their mind react to the message you're sharing? Designers need to consider this because psychology plays a powerful role in visual perception. The word Gestalt is German and refers to a unified pattern, figure, form or structure. It took off in 1920s Berlin and was applied to the field of visual perception by three theorists called Wertheimer, Kohler and Kofter. They asked, how do we understand the world around us? and comprehend all the different signals coming to us at the same time. They discovered our brain likes to understand things in simplified ways. A main idea of Gestalt? Perception is all about groups. Think about the face of someone you know. Their face has common features – eyes, nose, mouth, a certain shape, etc. When we recognize someone, we don't focus on just one feature. A face makes sense to us because of combined features. This is the essence of Gestalt theory. Our mind perceives everything in its simplest form. It groups things together and fills in gaps. Here, the triangle is the obvious shape people see, but there is no triangle. Sometimes it's a case of simplifying one thing so another thing can stand out. In the Amazon logo, the letters A to Z are linked by an arrow. A simple font and arrangement of letters helps highlight the movement of the arrow. Figure ground is the careful interplay of shapes to achieve a unified whole. Here, we perceive one element as the focus and another element as the background. The mind often perceives the smallest object as the figure and the larger object as the ground. In this dictionary.com logo, figure ground combines the idea of a large D with the shadow of an open doorway. A relevant idea for a dictionary. Elements close together are perceived as belonging to the same group. For example, the principle of proximity is effective in this Unilever logo. Together, the 25 small shapes create a U-shape. Proximity is essential for our minds to perceive that these icons belong to a single, unified whole. We perceive elements as belonging to the same group if they look alike. This can be achieved through colour, size, orientation, texture or even fonts. The classic NBC logo uses similar shaped peacock feathers to bring it together as a unified whole. Figure ground is also at play here, defining the peacock's body and head. In Gestalt theory, closure is about the brain's inclination to complete a shape or object, even if some parts are missing. WWF relies on our perception of the closed shapes to create the panda. Areas of blank space here are called negative space. Negative space is essential to the concept of closure. In this FedEx logo, our mind perceives the arrow in the negative space between the E and X. Our mind also perceives a group when unique elements combine to create movement or direction. Shapes following the same path are unified. The MasterCard logo achieves unity because the shapes appear to be joining or moving together. Coca-Cola has a strong, continuous quality, making each letter feel part of the whole. Symmetrical elements are perceived as part of the same group and are visually pleasing because they are balanced. These logos rely on symmetry and order for success. Symmetry is achieved when it seems like the design is halved and each side is a mirror. Design isn't accidental. Start looking at the world around you and notice how Gestalt theory is used to strengthen and simplify designs.
The more you notice, the more you can use it in your own work.